So what is up fellow YouTubers? My name is Mike, welcome to EAA, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Now, I have always said that you meet the best people in the car hobby, and it's really true. There are just some great, outstanding people out there. I've made some really good friends along the way, and the same can be said for the YouTube world. The uh, other car enthusiasts that have a YouTube channel that I have talked to, that I've connected with, great people, I've enjoyed talking with them, made some friends along the way, and I really do appreciate and value that friendship. One of the YouTubers that I have made a friendship with and been talking to is John Angle. He has his own YouTube channel and very similar to mine in a lot of ways. He and I have about the same size collection. Um, he tends to lean more towards the newer cars. He has like 90s and 2000s, whereas I kind of lean more towards the you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, that type of thing. But we definitely both have a passion for automotive. Now, I found his channel. I started watching some of his videos and left him a few comments. He and I connected and started talking. And I said, hey, why don't we collaborate on a video? Maybe do something together. Now, of course, he lives in South Carolina. I'm here in California. Kind of a long commute for us to actually get together. So we're gonna try this. He's gonna do a little bit of a video. I'm gonna do a little video. We're gonna throw it together and talk. And you guys can let me know what you think, um, if you like it or what have you. I would appreciate it. I know we both would appreciate the comments and the support as far as that goes. So. Without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, today we're gonna to do something a little different. I'm actually gonna collaborate with some of the YouTube talent that you find out here in the YouTube universe, but that is one of the greatest things about making this channel is the people that I get to meet, to interact with. I've met some people that have become true friends that we communicate outside of YouTube. We get together, we talk, and we powwow about different things. One of those people that I'd like to introduce you to is Mike. He's from Extreme Automotive Addiction, and he's like me, a true car guy. He's got a collection, and I think the best thing to do is to throw it over to Mike so he can introduce himself. Thanks very much, John. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the opportunity to do this video with you. Uh, yes, my name is Mike. My channel is Extreme Automotive Addiction, and I do my very best to live up to that title. I love automotive. I love the passion behind it. I love the, the car collecting world, the hobby. I love going out and meeting other people who enjoy the hobby as well. And I try to have a little bit of everything in my collection, quirky, muscle car, fast, slow, iconic, you name it. I try to have a little something for everybody. To me, I just, I love the architecture of a car and the design, the shape. And to me, as I always say in my channel, if it's cool, it's cool. Whether it's automotive, automotive memorabilia, hanging out with people, talking about cars, learning new things about automotive. I just love it. To me, it's the passion that really brings us all together. And it's why we do this, why we enjoy this hobby so much. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly what Mike is saying is the same passion that I have for cars. In fact, let me do this. I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of Mike's collection and my collection. And that way you can kind of see where we're both coming from. So I'm gonna throw that on the screen. What you'll see is that we both have a variety of different vehicles where Mike tends to have some of the classic vehicles and I have stuff more from the 90s and 2000s, but you will notice that both of us have C5 Z06s. And why is that? Ultimately, one of the best cars you can buy, bang for the value, great car, easy to drive around. You can use it as a daily driver. You can use it as a weekend track weapon. It is a great car. What do you think about it, Mike? I absolutely love my C5Z06. It is an outstanding car. You can daily drive it. Um, it makes great power in the stock form, but if you want to throw some bolt-ons and do a little addition here and there, or maybe some forced induction, you can get tons of power, tons of performance from the car. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've owned a number of Corvettes, but I think my favorite is the C5Z06. Just bang for the buck, all things considered out there. To me, it's just an amazing car. It's a beautiful design, and I absolutely love the car. I could not agree more. And one of the questions that I often get asked is, if you could buy any car, what would it be? And to be honest with you, I have actually missed out on a couple of opportunities in my life that I really regret. One of those is when the Ford GTs first came out, they did start depreciating and they were around $100,000. At the time, I chose to go with a Lamborghini Gallardo for about the same money. I kick myself every day that I could have bought a car for 100,000, and now today they're somewhere between 250 to 300,000. However, the one car that was always on my bucket list, and around that same time that I bought my Gallardo that I passed on the Ford GT, was the Jaguar XJ220. And I actually saw these somewhere between 80 to 90,000 dollars. 
Today, they are $500,000. I kick myself. Out of three cars that I could have picked, I picked the one that depreciated the most. Now, did I enjoy my Gallardo? Absolutely. It was a great car, and I'll probably own another one. But the Ford GT and the XJ220 are a little bit out of my price range now. And the XJ220 is still that bucket list car that I've always wanted, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have it now. So, what about you, Mike? What car did you want? Well, John, I do have to agree with you in regards to the Ford GT. That is absolutely an amazing car. Well out of my price range. Uh, when I was looking around right before I bought my Pantera, I was considered maybe a kit car, one of those, uh, which would have been amazing. But even the prices there were just a little out of my range. Uh, well over $100,000 and you can get a nice Pantera for under 100. So I ended up going with that. So definitely I would enjoy having one of those. I think for me, if money wasn't an object and I could just have anything out there, a couple cars that intrigue me is uh, the new Tesla Roadster. I'm not sure about the car. I know it's not out yet, but 0 to 60 in under two seconds is amazing. It's something I've got to experience sometime before I die. Uh, to me, it's just an amazing car and the, the technology is just beyond words. Another car that I'm, I'm interested in, and I've never really went into exotics and really done much with them, but to me, the McLaren line is just another amazing car, another, another amazing car line. Um, the 720S is probably the car that I would choose. Uh, just the performance that you get in those cars is just incredible. The design, the styling, and I really do feel like McLaren really takes care of their customers and really wants to give them a first class experience. The last question that we normally get is, what is your favorite car in your collection? For me, it's my 97 Viper. I've had it for the longest amount of time, and it is a car that I absolutely love. It has power, it has styling, everything about that car is phenomenal. Now, I do love all my other cars, and there's a reason for each one being in the collection, but ultimately that Viper is my baby. Mike, I know you have a similar story, what's yours? I do agree, John. That is a question I get asked quite a bit. And I also agree, every vehicle in my collection has its purpose, has something about it that I like, that I enjoy. So it's hard for me to pick just one, but there is definitely one vehicle that I will never get rid of, and that is my 1965 Chevy pickup. My dad bought it brand new here locally. Uh, he owned it for 20 years, then I got it. Now I've owned it for 34 years, and someday I will pass it down to my son. But until that time, it's gonna stay with me. I love the truck. It's got so much sentimental value. As far as a vehicle that I really just enjoy, I just I get a kick out of, and some may gawk at this just a little bit, but that would be my 1981 DeLorean. It's a car that I have admired for so long. I, I can remember when they first came out and seeing one, and it just it intrigued me. It's not the fastest car, it's not the best handling car, best braking car, it doesn't do anything great, but I just enjoy driving it. I just enjoy being in it. It's so iconic that I just will have it for a very, very long time, let's just say that. I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing from John and I and getting to know us a little bit better. Uh, this was a fun video for me to do. I always enjoy the opportunity to collaborate with other YouTubers, uh, especially people who are so passionate about automotive as I am. So it's great to be able to connect in that way. If you guys like this video, please leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. If there's something else you'd like us to do, um, maybe a different format, different questions or things like that. I, I know John and I would both be happy to accommodate you and who knows, maybe at some point in time, I'll make a trip his way, he'll make a trip my way and we can actually be in the same room and do something kind of special for you guys. But for now, if you like the video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time or haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel. Uh, my Instagram and PO Box as always will be in the description below. God bless, take care, have an absolutely amazing day.